Hi guys, so this time I'm gonna tell you how to fight in Crisis. First of all, I would like to apologize because I'm not a native English speaker, so if you have any troubles to understand me, please turn on the subtitles. First, it's important to say Crisis is not Call of Duty, it's not Battlefield, it's not Counter Strike, and it's not even similar to them. You have to forget everything you learned in those games, except aim maybe. Crisis is very different and very original, and that's why we love it. So here are the things you need to know to become good in Crisis Infantry Combat. Keep moving! Unlike other games, Crisis allows you to strafe to sides quickly even when you shoot. If you stop moving while shooting, you're an easy target and you will die. Killing a not moving player is as easy as this. If you keep moving, you become hard to hit. If the other one is moving and you are not, you have no chance. Always hold shift. In Crisis there is no running stamina. You can use shift all the time, so do it. You can find some small heavy object and put it on the shift key so it's pressed all the time. There's no reason to ever release it. Don't zoom while standing. This is a very common mistake usually made by players coming from Call of Duty or Battlefield. It doesn't work in Crisis. Just don't do it. You will die. Crisis has high recoil, that's this. See how the weapon jumps and shakes when shooting? Zooming won't make it any better. All it does is it makes you slow. This is how fast you move without zoom. And this is how you move with zoom. In Crisis you need much more hits to kill your enemy. So it's not enough to hit him first. If he moves and you don't, you'll die. If your enemy is far away and you really need to zoom, lie down first. When you're lying, the recoil is much smaller. Now you're not moving, but the recoil makes it hard to hit lying person. So always use two styles, at close distance don't zoom, fire from the hip and keep moving. At long distance lie down and zoom. Learn to use the suit modes. This is a very unique feature of Crisis. You have a nano suit and it has four effective modes. Each of them has a use in the game. Use armor when shooting. Use speed for surprise. Use strength for jumping. Or melee at close encounter. Use cloak to escape bad situations. Learn to switch the modes quickly. Try this. Learn advanced movement techniques. This is something you will never see anywhere else besides Crisis 1. 
This game contains lots of, uh, let's say, glitches that allows you to do some spectacular things. Into these movement glitches belong wall jump, circle jump, this kind of jump, I don't even know how it's called. But also double proning and other. There's going to be another tutorial just about these things. Use FY and submachine gun. Use the FY71 with silencer as a primary weapon and the submachine gun as a secondary. The FY is the strongest quickly firing weapon. Yeah, it has high recoil and lower fire rate, with not many bullets in mag, but it kills the enemy in the shortest time. The submachine gun has the highest fire rate and lot of ammo, but it has also highest recoil. It is good for finishing enemies off. or for very short distance in closed area. I know there are other great weapons, but this combination is the most beginner friendly and it's best for most situations you will encounter. There is going to be another tutorial only about weapons, so be sure to check this channel. Learn to aim. There is not much I can teach you about aim. It's all about practice and experience. If you want to aim well, you need to practice, practice, practice and then practice. But anyway, here are a few tips that will make it a little bit easier. Use laser and silencer. The laser dot shows you more accurately where you're shooting. Then the crosshair. And the silencer removes the flame coming out of the weapon which is blinding you. Aiming like this is way easier than aiming like this. Disable weapon inertia. Go to options, game settings and turn this thing down. Your weapon will now hold steady and won't move when you move. This way you will always see where it's aiming at and you will be ready to shoot. Increase your frames per second. In case you have an older computer with a weaker graphic card, you'll need to reduce your graphical details and resolution. Yeah, I know this doesn't look as great, but high FPS are important because aiming in a smooth game like this is way easier than this. That's it, I hope it helped and if you have any questions or problems, write me in comments. If you want to learn more, be sure to check this channel for other tutorials.